Good afternoon. I'm Jay Spurgeon. I'm the Public Works Director here in the City of Thousand Oaks. And thank you all. It's a great turnout for this groundbreaking event for our 101-23 Interchange Construction Project. This is a $37 million investment in our infrastructure. The biggest project we have in the county now in the transportation system. We've got congestion that needs to be relieved. And we're going to do that by adding lanes on each side of the freeway, adding lanes on the ramps from the 23 freeway to the 101 freeway. We'll be widening three bridges to do that, as well as improving those for, uh, to seismic standards. We're going to have about three quarters of a mile of sound walls to help mitigate the impacts from noise on the freeway, as well as some environmental mitigation through stormwater treatment. And we're also expanding the intelligent transportation system that's already in place on the 101 freeway. And this is technology that helps improve traffic flow uh, throughout the Southland. This project extends almost four and a half miles, essentially from the county line to Moore Park Road. Again, this is years in the making, and um, I'll stop and, and turn it over to our speakers. So, uh, Mayor Andy Fox. Good afternoon. On behalf of all of us, uh, let me welcome you to truly an historic day in Ventura County and here in Thousand Oaks. And it is fitting because we are celebrating our 50 year anniversary here in Thousand Oaks. As Jay mentioned, uh, today marks the beginning of the county's largest public infrastructure project. A project that has been in the works for many, many years that will serve not just the citizens of Thousand Oaks, the residents of Thousand Oaks, but really on the 101 freeway, Thousand Oaks is the gateway to Ventura County. And so literally millions of motorists will be going through either using the 101-23 interchange or certainly passing by. And so it's a very, very important day. You know, traffic is something that everyone in Southern California, including folks in Thousand Oaks and Ventura County, have to deal with. Here in Ventura County, uh, particularly here in Thousand Oaks, we recognize the importance of keeping people moving to their jobs, uh, to their homes, to various functions. And so that's why the city of Thousand Oaks, in addition to the grant and federal funding, basically forwarded $14 million of city monies so we could start this project ahead of schedule. And we are counting on Kimberly and the Caltrans workers to make sure that the project is done on time and hopefully on budget. You know, as I conclude my comments, it would be, uh, it would be important to note past council member Dennis Gillette, 40 uh, year resident plus resident of Thousand Oaks, former mayor, former council member, former member of the Ventura County Transportation Commission. Uh, there is no single elected person in Ventura County that has worked harder on this particular project than Dennis Gillette. I'd like all of us to recognize Dennis's work uh, on the 101-23 freeway. It's an exciting day for not only the city of Thousand Oaks, but the entire region, as Mr. Spurgeon and Mayor Fox already mentioned, the city was able to come up with a $14 million loan. Not a lot of cities are able or were able to do that. We tried numerous times to qualify for the uh, Tiger funding. Dennis Gillette went up to Washington and we were denied. I think Councilmember Jackie Irwin and Tom Glancy went up there and we were denied. Heck, last January, I went up there with staff and for the new Tiger program, Tiger 5, and nothing happened. So in the end, we had to dip into our own pockets in order to make this happen. So, okay, the federal government wasn't as helpful as perhaps we expected, but nonetheless, uh, we are able to make it happen, and I'm very, very happy about that. I want to start off by saying thank you to the City of Thousand Oaks. I thank you on behalf of the county. I thank you on behalf of all the commuters that are now going to have some relief from the one major bottleneck in the county of Ventura. I'm thankful that the city had the funds to do it and that Caltrans is willing to work out this agreement. Um, just really appreciate that. I think we're all going to uh, have to have some patience 
as the construction goes forward. But we know uh, in the end that uh, we will all be having some smooth sailing. And uh, again, we're thankful for that and uh, very appreciative. And uh, hopefully uh, it, it will go even faster and be under budget like most projects that the city works on, right? Thank you very much. Um, Route 101 23 interchange has been the number one priority uh, transportation project in Ventura County for the last five years. The approach for its improvement required collaborative problem solving on the behalf of the City of Thousand Oaks, the Ventura County Transportation Commission, and Caltrans. We appreciate the City of Thousand Oaks for their efforts to advance the project with the spirit of partnership and cooperation. This project is the last major freeway project in the county for at least the next decade. We know we need to tackle the 101 freeway and also the 118 to the 23, uh, but that's gonna take some time and money, so we're excited about getting underway with this. So while this project will relieve the 101 corridor of some gridlock, we have some real challenges in the future that will only be resolved through collaboration similar to what this project uh, became a real or how this project became a reality. So again, just thank you for everyone involved. I want to thank all of you for being here today and I look forward to these improvements uh, and to commence very shortly. The port of Huanimi moves seven billion in cargo, generates a billion econo uh, dollar economic impact and generates 9,400 jobs. All the cars that you see driving this quarter, likely most of them came through our port. If you lined up all the bananas that come through our port, that's enough in a year. That's enough to go around the world 12 and a half times. We bring in the fertilizer that feeds our agriculture farms and industry here. We can't do this unless we have an efficient transportation corridor. So we commend everyone for making this happen. It's going to keep the jobs going at our port and allow us to con be, continue to be the economic engine that we are. So thank you very much and congratulations to all of you for making this work. Hi everyone, I'm Kimberly Ellis Erickson from Caltrans. It's a pleasure to be here today. First, I'd like to thank the Caltrans staff for their efforts in moving us forward to the point where we could be here at this historic groundbreaking event. Caltrans is very excited about improving the 101-23 interchange. More than a quarter of the project's funding comes from Proposition 1B, the voter approved state transportation improvement account enacted in 2006. Projects that receive this funding must meet the strictest guidelines based on need and anticipated benefits. And the 101-23 interchange improvements certainly qualify on all of these counts. Right now, we currently have more than 634 ongoing construction contracts valued at 11.4 billion statewide with 114 projects valued at more than 2 billion in Los Angeles and Ventura counties alone. Each and every one of these projects is making a difference in pavement quality, easing transitions, providing carpool lanes, enhancing safety, and hundreds of large and small fixes that are improving conditions for motorists. While this interchange is under construction, Caltrans is working diligently with our partners, the City of Thousand Oaks and Ventura County Transportation Commission to, map, to minimize inconvenience to the community. So the majority of work will be performed at night behind K-Rail to preserve traffic flow. Lane closures will be announced well in advance and every effort will be made to keep the community in the loop via joint public awareness e effort. As always, Caltrans number one priority is the safety of the motoring public and our workforce. So while construction is underway, it's urgent that we slow for the cone zone and we move over. If not, CHP, who's here today, will remind you that fines are doubled in construction zones. So perhaps some short-term pain, but in the end, long-term gain. A freeway system that will make driving easier, faster, better, and safer. Thank you. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. Visit the project webpage at www.toaks.org slash 101.23. That should be easy to remember. And there's also going to be a community meeting uh, informational meeting on Wednesday, February 5th from 6 to 8 p.m. and that'll be held at the Thousand Oaks City Civic Arts Plaza in the Founders Room and that's in the Cavley Theater. So again, thanks everyone for coming out. Uh, enjoyed having you, enjoyed seeing you all. And we'll all line up now for our uh, groundbreaking uh, photo op.